Basketball season really heating up right now. We've got a fun one coming up for you tomorrow night. K-State and KU face off in the Sunflower Showdown at Brambridge Coliseum. And 27 News reporter Caroline Soro heard from both the Jayhawk and Wildcat fans who say if you can't make it to the game, there are still some fun ways to watch. Well, we're a little under 24 hours away from what's probably one of the most anticipated Sunflower Showdowns in quite some time. Now, I spoke to both KU and K-State fans earlier this afternoon about what their game day plans are. And the one thing that they could all agree on is that they will be tuned into the game in some way or another. Those who can't be at the actual game will be watching elsewhere, so local bars are getting ready for some rowdy crowds. It will be really crazy, especially around here in Aggieville where all of our prominent bars are for like partying and college students are and for that experience of like those game day environments. Kites is usually busy on game days, but he says this matchup is always special. This time though, K-State has a new head coach in Jerome Tang and both teams are ranked inside the top 25. The rivalry between those two schools, or K-State and KU, is insane. You know, any football game we have here, really any basketball game too, all of Lawrence comes to Manhattan and it's you know, whoever wins, there might be consequences, you know, just in terms of how excited fans get. Meanwhile, back in Topeka, Jayhawk fans are equally as excited. KU leads the all-time series with K-State 203-94, to and fans hope to cheer them on to another win. Everything you see people do live on TV at the games, you know, we do it here, you know. The hands are in the air for the free throw, you know. Yeah, yeah, we do. Just <laughs> we, like do if you're, if oh, you're we do it all. Oh, you bet. We do it. We do it all. Like yeah, we do it all. We do it all. Yeah, this that. is as close to live as you can uh -huh. get. The Topeka Jayhawk Club camps out at Wings Etc. on most KU game days, and they're expecting a pretty good turnout tomorrow. It's exciting. Uh, I love it because, you know, um, I love to share in the excitement, uh, whether it be uh, a win or a lose with uh, my fellow Jayhawks. Yeah. Number 13 Kansas State plays host to number 2 KU tomorrow night at 6 p.m. We'll have more coverage for you on the game so you don't want to miss it. Working for you in Manhattan, I'm Caroline Soro, 27 News.